welcome to Prime Sports with me, Muftaw Nabila Abdullah. Black Stars player Christian Achu, he's been pulled out alive and sound from the wreckage after spending nearly 26 hours under rubble following a Monday dawn's devastating earthquakes that hit Turkey and other parts of Syria. Uh, Hataya Sports Vice President Mustafa Uzat has confirmed this in an interview, indicating that the club sporting director is still unaccounted for. Istanbul-based journalist Yaos spoke to the joint news team earlier today on details of what transpired. Well, uh, the moment that Christian Achu uh, was uh, under the rubble uh, left many Ghanaians uh, in a moment of anxiety, and um, there were many of them who were actually worried. And uh, the reports that he's uh, been found alive uh, has got many Ghanaians equally excited. My colleague. Razak Musbao, he was on the streets of Accra and interacted with some people who wished him well. For 24 hours, Christian Achu was caught up in the rubble in that deadly earthquake disaster in Turkey. When the news broke out for a number of Ghanaians, it was one of worry as we all prayed and hoped for him to be found. For a number of Ghanaians, this news is one that has brought them a lot of excitement and relief because for some, they could not sleep. And to hear that he has not been found, they have nothing short of thanks. I felt, I felt, you know, very bad. Uh, they're looking at, I mean, the way he's helped, you know, the Ghana Black Stars in the past, like, events and stuff. I, I, I felt, you know, we had a very bad, but like I'm saying, we thank God that he's been, he's been found. Especially, say, Christian, I can't one. say, it's such a relief that Achu has been found and you know he's Ghanaian and he's our blood and such a catastrophe no one will wish it on anybody no matter what yeah so it's a happy moment so from yesterday i was very sad the whole day and in the evening around seven o'clock and i heard that he was found but injured it's such a relief that he's alive that's the most important thing yes the rest we leave it up to god my hope is that uh, I will not be part of the incident. So I was hoping that it should, it should be free about uh, from the incident what came from the Turkey. So all what I will say is we thank God so much for saving Christian Achu for us. And we hope that from now on it will be fine and successful and we will hear from him safely and and you will break you will come back to Ghana and you come and bring his body to Ghana and show and tell us that now he's safe from the incident. While we wait for full recovery and even to get to see Christian Atu, wherever you are, you want to say a word of prayer for him so that he can indeed recover speedily and return to a normal life. Reporting for Joy Sports, Razak Musbao. I had interactions with people close to Christian Atu, and what they tell me is that um, he's stable and uh, 
he's receiving treatment. Uh, hopefully, um, as you heard from my colleague, uh, Razak Musba, um, Christian Ochu uh, should return to their country uh, after everything is, is sorted. In fact, yesterday, he had an arrangement to see his family in the UK, but unfortunately, uh, following that disaster, um, that did not happen. Uh, let's uh, do some more stories. I'm from a Vice President of the Ghana Football Association, Georgia Freer, has questioned the motive of Keto Kriku's administration to consider extension of mandate of the President of the Association from two to three times. Speaking to my colleague, Netanya Arthur, uh, Mr. Freer said the move leaves much to be desired. The three terms existed before normalization committee came into being. So now my question is, I know that now the full lawyer, now the full naughty, was part of the um, normalization committee. In fact, she was specifically in charge of the status review. And I also know that this one is also involved. And I know some members of the committee whose position I know before. I've heard them say it, say it several times on your network that oh, Oracle Senior and the Chief Term, the first term and the second term was of the as a, um, normalization committee. In fact, she was specifically in charge of the status review. And I also know that this one is also involved. And I know some members of the committee whose position I know before. I've heard them said it, say it several times on your network that, oh, Oracle Senior the first term and the second term was very good. Now until the third term, things got messed up. I hear them saying every day. I hear them saying this on radio. So then my point is, we had a normalization committee. They came up with proposals for our status and all that, and we met and we discussed it and approved. Not it will interest you to know that I participated in these uh, uh, status revision discussion throughout the period. In fact, the members of the normalization committee, specifically Madam, who was in charge of it, engaged some of us and sought our views. One of the areas which never came up is the three terms. There are other provisions in the statutes that we've talked about, like Article 39K, where we felt that powers given to the executive council now, there are powers that we think must be taken out from the executive council to be given to Congress. Remember, in recent times, the members, some members of the football family met in Kumasi and proposed some amendment. These were some of the things we, we talked about. We talked about Article 81.6, where the, in the previous, uh, in the current status, from uh, provisions from the Normalization Committee, they were asking the Ghana Football Association to reduce uh, Division 1 from 48 to 18. So we have some part of the status that we also think that must be amended. But I'm so surprised that the one that we've never talked about, even when we engaged the Normalization Committee, even when FIFA came in, the one that we never talked about was the three terms. Because most of our people came saying that, oh, we think that the federation, even though with FIFA is 12 years, even though CAF is 12 years, we think that in Ghana here, we must go the Ghana way. Because those are no mandatory provisions under FIFA and CAF, the 12 years. And they are not mandatory. You can choose to say that in your country you want to do one term. FIFA doesn't care. My understanding in any, any law, any law, any law that you put, be the constitution of Ghana or whatever, for me, I think that you need to practice it over time to understand the defects and the benefits. First of all, as we speak, Ket Simon Kreko has not even finished, Ket President Simeon. Keto Kreko has not even completed his first term. This is how we wrap up. Prime Sports here with me, Muftar Nabila Abdullah. Enjoy your evening.